Hello, and I will be doing my persuasive speech, and my topic is texting and driving. And I have, again, my little booklet with my outline. All right. Do you ever text while driving? Is it really worth it? With a lot of research and studies, I have gathered and found many unfortunate events of adults and children and teenagers losing their lives unnecessarily due to distracted and texting while driving. There are a lot of different distractions that can occur while driving, but one that can be avoided is uh, picking up the phone. If it's an emergency or if it's necessary, you can always pull over and address the situation pulled over. But I personally, with the research I've done, don't think that it is worth it to risk um, checking the phone right away when it's buzzing behind the wheel. Um, a lot of people have been killed annually and the rate continues to go up as things are getting crazier and crazier in the world. People are taking more risks and doing um, impulsive things and that is one of them. Driving is dangerous as it is. Um, texting, again, is something that can 100% be avoided and you have control over that. Um, most of the studies that I have done have shown that people have died, they've not only killed themselves, but they've killed other people by looking at a notification on their phone that was something non-important, something that uh, most definitely could have waited until they were a pulled over at their destination or they were just done driving home for the day unwinding and checking their phone um texting while driving is in no circumstance worth the risk there's nothing anyone can say to justify that and like i said in the beginning if it is a true emergency you can always almost always find somewhere right around you to pull over and then address the emergency. Texting while driving is an extremely serious, one of the most serious distractions that causes millions of people worldwide, their lives and even abilities. Some people text and drive and they get in an accident and they don't always die, but they have to live with life altering injuries. And it's all because of a one second, one split second, that something went wrong, wrong on the road and they took their eyes off the road. So, people think it's not that big of a deal to text and drive, but studies have showed that looking down for five seconds to check a text and reply really quick is the same equivalency to driving across a football field with your eyes closed, which... I think in almost everybody's opinion, we can all agree that that is not very smart. The death rate of texting and driving has significantly gone up each year. And I believe that this problem should not be happening and people should be smart enough to realize that there's consequences to your actions and the consequences of texting and driving are not good. Nothing good comes out of texting and driving. There's about 6,000 deaths in the U.S. every year and half a million injuries caused by distracted drivers every year. Now that we've gone over the numbers of how many people die and get seriously injured from texting and distracted driving, let's move on to my next point about the laws of texting and driving. I think that the solution to texting and driving should be amping the laws that um, revolve around this issue. Right now, to my knowledge, you if you get pulled over um, texting and driving, you get a fine, you get a ticket, um, 
you go to driver's ed, all that stuff, like a normal ticket, like you're just speeding. And I think that isn't very serious to most people. It doesn't sound like something that's going to ruin your life. It doesn't sound like something that's going to really um, hold you back. I think, in my opinion, that texting and driving should be treated as serious as drinking and driving, smoking, you know, and driving DUI-related things. I think that if the law was that strict and made it seem like texting and driving was that serious of an issue, less people would take the risk if it meant um, jail time. Because think about it, if you look down at your phone for one second, you never know there could be a cop right there. Um, and I think that jail time also should be served because you're technically endangering you not only yourself, but you're endangering other people when you make that decision to text and drive so in conclusion i've thoroughly went over the problems with the topic of texting and driving and i've given a solution and again in conclusion if you have a problem texting and driving it's not worth your life no text at all that you could possibly send to somebody when behind the wheel is as important as the life of you, yourself and whoever's in the car not to mention texting and driving doesn't only just kill the people in the car or injure the people in the car you could hit an animal you could hit someone crossing the street you could crash into another car swerve into another lane um if you're tempted to grab a phone that's vibrating you can utilize the non-vibration setting in most phone settings has it and you can repress this urge by enabling that completely while driving um because it's a fact that you can't be tempted by what you don't hear so that was my persuasive speech on texting and driving and